guys, in this video, we're using this new aluminum fixture that I got. And this is from a company called Yida Motors. They sent this to, to me. And the nice thing about this is I can adjust the height and finally level this trailer. So when I tow the Can-Am, it tows a lot better. So if you guys don't know, when you're pulling something or you're um, towing something, you gotta distribute the weight properly on the trailer. And this is gonna help a ton putting it right where I want it as far as the height of the trailer. So this is really nice, it's billet aluminum front and back so you get these on amazon i believe um i'll be leaving links in the description for this particular one that i'm using you know it looks like a pretty high quality let me know what you guys use um on your trucks when you guys are towing your machines around comment down below All right, we made it to Proline Wraps. We're doing the toy drive, 2022, first annual toy drive at Proline Wraps' new facility. Can you hear me all right? We got these new mics. We got Abraham mic. We got test, two test. mics. Test, test, test. test. Testicle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're here. We got two UTVs out here at the Proline Wraps uh, event. I brought my X3. We got Proline Wraps with their two-seat Pro XP. And then, as you can see, a lot of really cool old-school cars, uh, Jeeps. And I believe inside, I saw some exotics, like Porsches and what else, dude? I think there's a 64 in there, Mustang. Ooh, all these goodies. So we're gonna go in there, check that out, um, and just give you guys an overview of the hangout today. So I got my drone out, or I have my drone, we'll throw it on the air too. Uh, I also brought another little camera review for you guys, see if you guys like that, and just changing it up today, and see, see, uh, see how you guys like this event. Let me know in the comment section down below. It's for a good cause, so. Yeah, that's right. Giving toys away. Yeah, at the end of the day, you know. That's what, we're, that's what we're really here for. So we already gave away some toys. I don't know if you guys saw that in the intro. We gave some toys to uh, Proline Rats, which is handling and everything. All right, so I figured we might as well check out these cars. We got an old school Camaro here, 68, 69. Not 100%. I don't know my Camaros all, as well as I should, because I work at a Chevy dealer, but I should know better. But really clean. I'm not a fan of the darker blues, but it is really nice. White stripes, rally style. What kind of cars you, you like out here? You like tuner cars, huh? Nah, Abraham likes his hundies. Nah, that was back in the days in high school. I'm gay. I'm gay, gay. <laughs> oh man, this is a judge right here, GTO. Uh, the judge is like a, a trim level for the GTOs back in the days. It's pretty, pretty rare. So that's nice with the Ram Air. We got this Grand National here that this gentleman brought. He threw an LS motor in it, which I'm not a fan of, but LS is LS and LS is always badass. I put an LS in my Camino a long time ago. I uh, wish it looked as clean as this, uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful car. That freaking Darth Vader black, bro. I like it. I like it too, man. I always love these body styles. I got those rims from my uncle's Bel Air. Did you really? Yeah. Which ones? These? these? No, the ones in the... Yeah, these? Yeah. Well, these are like uh, American well, they're, racing? Well, the similar style. Oh, American racing. We got the old Chevy. Custom fab work right here. Paint jobs. What nice. are we doing here, man? This is a UTV <laughs> channel, dude. <laughs> Not a lot of UTVs out here. Okay. I guess it would be a pain in the butt to trailer everything out here. <clears throat> An hour and a half drive with a trailer in the back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're supporting my boy, so. Another Impala here. We got the old school Hummer. We'll do a little off-road stuff here. I got some Jeeps. You like Jeeps, though? I do. Now that I've been following that one, I don't know where they're from. Where are they from? Like Saudi Arabia or something? Oh, those they're always guys? dooning? Ooh, those guys uh, dude, those, they get down on the dunes, bro. That yeah, let's throw a clip in. If you guys haven't seen how they do it in, is it Dubai? I don't know where it is, but they're the dunes back Middle East. I don't know where it's at, but they get crazy with the way they've been doing it. Dude, it looks like they're gonna flip over, but they're just sliding. They're beast. Yeah, they're just full gas, no brake. Scary. Uh, badass Jeeps. I mean, I don't know too much about Jeeps, guys. If you guys are Jeep fanatics. You guys will probably like this stuff, but uh, these are all Proline wraps. I think this was at the Central uh, this year. Yeah, these things are massive. It's huge. Hey, it's getting a little windy. I don't know how the mic sounds because uh, it has these little wind muffs. I didn't bring them, so. Idiots. No, I don't think so. It's all paint awful. Yeah. Oh, this is a poor paint job, too. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he's talking shit. Just can't open it. I like this red one right here. It's got these tubular doors. This thing's pretty dope. This is my style right here. I, I, I would rock something like this. If you're gonna have a Jeep, you might as well have it opened up. Get the fresh breeze going through. Got some custom doors here. 
He's got his off-road crawlers, his little his RCs. His access plate is bent, so he is using it. Huh? His access plate? plate? Uh, oh, yeah. Get this game down, dude. Good job. Hey, who cares about this? Let's go look at the guns, fool. <laughs> These guys got a bunch of freaking rifles here. Sheesh. All right, that's outside. We're going to check out inside. Uh, there's a bunch of exotics in here. And they have a spot where we can take pictures. We'll do some of that in a second with the wife. That's pretty exotic right there. And that one's, that one's pretty exotic. We got the Corvette, the Porsche, a Tesla, you know, it's an Audi, oh no, excuse me, a Volvo, another Porsche. Well, we'll look at that right now. And then uh, we got Andrew's new uh, Pro R that he built for uh, Camp Razor. If you guys saw this at Camp Razor, this thing is super clean. Uh, I came a couple times and saw it when it was being built. Man, this thing is bad. It's bad. Uh, hey, if you, if you guys notice on my car, I don't have a lot of polished parts, but this thing makes me want to have polished parts. Like, look at the exhaust, the chrome on the radius rods. We'll look at it more right now. Well, I'll quickly check out these two Pro R's that are right here. Got the Metal FX custom wheels on there. That looks really dope. Those are the same ones that I have on my machine, but obviously these are five lug for the Pro R. Um, oh, what else? Clean doors, TMW doors and bags. You guys can get those on the website. Those are badass. I installed some. I'm still editing the video for that. Uh, I did it on a four seat. Um, and then we got some DRT products. Really clean, man. These guys do good work. I like it. So they use like a Heim on top, or excuse me, a, a rod with Heims on it to adjust the angle of that. That's pretty cool. What the hell? It's got like a canvas on top, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Check it out. Oh, yeah, you could just take so it out. So you can remove it for the yeah. dunes, huh? I like it. Yeah. Yeah, we got Simpson seats in here. Overall clean little build. The wheels set it off. The wheels and the bumper set it yeah, off. Yeah, that's nice. Changes the front end a lot. And then this one over here with the pretty much identical wheels. This is a nice machine too. Chupacabras, get them on the website. Yeah, Chupacabras, get them on the website. Got the Baja Designs, get them on the website. We got the mirrors in the center as well. And then, uh, so A and E looks like, is that the name? Yeah. And that says Fabworks right here. SM, SMP Fabworks. You're a taco cage. man, fool. Roll cage and everything. Well, you should get a taco. Oh, you have one, huh? You drive a V4 for work. V4? <laughs> what are you talking about? You talking about Tacomas or no? Yeah. What Tacomas are V4? How's it a V4? What do you mean how? It's an inline four. What? Oh. My bad. Damn, homie. My bad. Not real sure right now. <laughs> My <is> bad. <laughs> this is all pre rendered out. It's got a full cage and everything. Got King Shocks, dude. It's got a lot of money in this car. Truck. Ram Sin on 4G autos. A lot of money out here, man. This guy's freaking have money. Time for a break. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems that's all but my run through the money depression be calling left all my blessings I feel like I'm falling the birdie is back tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something that's why I ain't calling phone in progression it's all that I wanted the phone in affection I summon and dub it cause bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems that's all but my run through the money depression be calling left all my blessings I feel like I'm falling the birdie is back tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something that's why I ain't calling phone in progression it's all that I wanted the phone in affection I summon and dub it why you be all in my line about nothing, but won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing. I see that we different. You got it. Come on, Santa. 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 Let's see, let's Santa. See Santa. Santa. Santa's about to rip your pants. All of that. Santa's about to get arrested. <laughs> you want your toys delivered in a jiffy? <laughs> hey, Santa's ditched the reindeer. He's got a motorcycle now. Hey, who's Santa? Who's Santa? <laughs> <laughs> Run away, Santa. All right, we got the green light to check out the cars inside. Oh. Hey, my guy. Oh, Where were you? I don't know. I was, I was looking for you, actually. The man, the myth right here, uh, his sign, event. Did you sign autographs or what? No, I'll sign uh, you. sign mine if you want. Deal. What do you got here? Show me some uh, cars. So we have an RWB Porsche here. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar. Definitely check out some stuff from RWB. They do really cool stuff. 
um, I think his name's Nakai, that he's from Japan. So, like, this is a little stuff. This is really nice. Yeah, yeah this car is like hand built. They're from Japan? Yeah, so, I mean, not the car, Ooh, but. Oh, he is. Yeah, so they do like a, a wide body kit. Um, it's you know, I think I've seen an episode of Donut where they covered him. No, was that him? Yeah, there's it's online. Like, there's a bunch of stuff, really cool stuff. So, it's all hand built. They do the body kit because yeah. I think they make it in Japan and then they come out to wherever you are and then they install it. It's kind of like a whole experience. It's pretty cool. It sounds expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. You can't jump over the rope. <laughs> oh, dude, it's wide. It's yeah, super it's wide. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's a really cool car. He's and he, a lot of does he only gold. do the body kits, or is that the cage? All he, he did all that, or no? It's, so that guy does the strictly the body kits, but then this is a full bomb build. Who did the rest of it? I'm not sure to be honest, but uh, it's right crazy. On. Right crazy. on. Yeah, if you look up anything RWB, this it's is like an older, like older. '90s Porsche, right? Yeah, this older one. Yeah. It's really badass, though. Yeah. I like, I like. How about this uh, Volvo here? Yeah, this is Volvo's all air ride. Um, I was told they're actually super rare, so I'm not too sure on how what. Uh, kind of rare that is come over dude okay, he goes i go if he yells at me then we'll run away oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you, you got you, vip you. Volvo, okay um so this customer's volvo we did, just did a clear raw stuff on it but it's super rare you did a clear on all these or what yeah so the cars that don't have wraps on them we did clear on but all this stuff over here like that one's wrapped that one's got clear on it that car the green um corvette c8 it's actually all wrapped oh that green's wrapped yeah Oh, we're gonna look at that in a second. I got my machine uh, clear wrapped, just like this. Let's go around. This is your Tesla, no? Yeah, yeah. Shop Freaking. Tesla. We're gonna have some Tesla events too. So this car too. I don't know. If, do you, I don't know if you know what that is. Uh, oh, it's a Porsche, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, it's a Porsche, right? This is. This has been already discontinued for a while, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, it's a 918 Porsche. Super rare. Super rare. Ooh. <laughs> like insert clip here. Medium rare. <laughs> for real, huh? Who's is this? Uh, just customer if you car. say yours, nah, I'm a fucking nah, We don't do those kind of wraps here. This is badass, bro. This is really nice. Dude, look at all the carbon fiber. Front, what do you think? It is a beast. It is a beast, he says. Yeah, it's got like a green line in there. You see that? Or like a trim? Yeah, this car is pretty insane. In there. That's pretty dope. It's a mid engine car. Oh, it's actually hybrid, huh? Yeah. Mid engine Porsche 918 Spider. Some fancy stuff. I know nothing about, but. Definitely can appreciate, you know, high-end works of art, so. We got the old Corvette. I know a lot about these. They're at my work all the time. I'm always fixing them. They're pieces of, nah. <laughs> all cars have issues, but I do repair a lot of these little things, switches and stuff like that. But for overall, this has been a really impressive machine to go against those kinds of machines. Now, it's not on that level, but this Corvette is a freaking beast. What do you think about these Corvettes? Actually, I like them. They, they've been growing on me. You have one? No. Who's is that white one up there? Uh, just the buddies. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you had one. You're getting one? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Franz didn't get one. No Corvettes. Maybe one day. And then you guys have seen the Proline wraps uh, four seater many times before. It's uh, badass. Just long in the tooth. This is the good stuff over here, the new stuff. Uh, yep. Now, if you guys go to Proline wraps on YouTube, go check out their new video on this machine. It is badass. But we'll give you a quick overview. Give us like the first or best six things about it that you did into this machine. Obviously, Pro R, two seat, full build, cage, paint, wrap, all sorts of stuff. But what are the five things that stand out to you on this one? Uh, let's go with, so best five. Definitely, we get a lot of compliments on the interior. So those seats are all custom. That peanut butter. Yeah, right? Butter, it's peanut butter, jelly time, peanut butter, jelly time. Uh, peanut butter, jelly time. I didn't know it. Pro Armor made custom seats. They do, right there. Logo. <laughs> I didn't know they did that, bro. No, they actually, so it's actually something that from rumor that they're actually going to be doing it more often. So this is their same seat. It's just a different pattern, different material and stuff. So seats, that's for sure one thing that stands so, out. What yeah. else? Yeah. Obviously the interior, I think you did a lot. Yeah, I was going to say that was going to be my next go-to. Um, so don't mind the stuff over here. But a yeah, lot the, of details. The interior, just because the carbon fiber piece, people have done it. But we just kind of simplified everything to make it look cool. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them where they have carbon fiber like right here as well. Yeah. I think that's too much. I think this is like it's the perfect, much. you know, just the trim right here and then the back, the top kind of, it's its own section. Yeah. Kind of like a continuation of the hood. Yeah, just a little bit, but not overdoing it. And I like how you did that, wrap the, the grab for the passenger, the grab handle. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That could be number three. 
No, we're, just, we're gonna loop it all at one. Okay. That's number two still. <laughs> but also too, also too, I guess, I mean, I talked about in the video, but all the pieces, the Axia stuff, the, the shifter, everything's chrome. So you can't buy like that. They come in a couple of finishes and we had it all chrome. Oh yeah, that's true. So the Viper machine, um, Shifter there usually comes in a high polish, and I didn't even notice it. It's actually chromed out. You got it chromed out. Yeah, so same thing. Too. Dollar. You know the Axia stuff. I mean, they come in like a, a clear coated. He's, cool. He's freaking chromed out the pieces you can't see. <laughs> it's all about, Dude, the it's all about the details, bro. A little dusty from glam. No wonder you don't want to drive it, freaking sucker. Let's go. <laughs> Damn. It's nice, man. Like, I gotta admit, it's pretty nice. It's really nice. Uh, he's missing missing the HDR kit. I guess you got it already. Yeah, it, it's gonna be on for New Year's. Oh. <laughs> cool element. Why is that arm black? Oh, we're gonna talk about that. What you been, fool? <laughs> we're gonna talk about that. What a fool! Uh, so uh, why are you hiding yeah. it? I roll my shit. I tell everybody. No, no. Honestly, what happened was the ball joint popped out and it oblonged the hole. Luckily, I can't raise it. They had a spare one, uh -huh. so I popped it off. You can see it like, right. Junkie. A little detail. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. I'm still sick. Anyways, um. Man, that happened, huh? Polaris is gonna love that one. <laughs> uh, that's all right. They don't sponsor me, bro, so I don't. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, he's hating already. Huh? No, that's badass. All right, number three. Uh, well, around four, aren't we? I don't know. Just do number three. We're freaking okay, number three. This is not a freaking uh, organizer. Right? All right. Well, it's on that side. I would say the exhaust. It's good. Exhaust. Oh, let me. Yeah, I'll go to this side though. Yeah, me and Abraham noticed that right away, huh? We were saying earlier. I don't really care for polished, but this car makes me like polished. It looks so freaking sick. So it started off as polished, but it turned a really cool color. So it's yeah. kind of like a gold color. That always happens, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I thought it was going to be more purple than it is, but it's cool, like goldish color. But it's super like uniform polished. Yeah. Like it looks really nice, like that bronzy color. Yep, yep. Yeah, I really like that. So it don't come like that? I mean... They usually do brush finish, Evo. This is Evo header and exhaust. They usually no, do brush. So the Evo stuff comes stainless. It's either stainless or black, I think. Well, they're all stainless, but I'm saying the, it's brush finish. Like Yeah, just raw stainless. It's not polished. Yeah, raw stainless or the black Cerakote. Did you get it polished or yeah, what? Yeah, we had it all polished. Ooh, special request. Yeah. Well, very sick. And this is all painted right here. That's powder coated. That's chromed. I mean, overall, the Pro R is a beast of a machine. It doesn't, doesn't need a lot of work, but I mean, he, he put all the work into it. What are you seeing there, Abraham? Smart paint. Oh, Junkie Sasa. Or the little details. The little details right there. Chrome paint. You should have done the intake in a purple hole. Chrome it. Fuck it. If it doesn't move, chrome it, right? That's the model. Yeah. If it don't go, chrome it. Oh, that's badass. All right, that's what's number four? That's four. That's three. I don't know. I lost count. Give me uh, some more. I, don't know. I, I like these wheels, bro. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna yeah, freaking. Yeah, say the wheels. I'm gonna do an executive the move wheels. here and just take this number for you. The Metal Effects uh, custom wheels, man. They are. They're hard. We put Metal Effects wheels on uh, Abraham's. I got Metal Effects outside. These are forged, which if you don't know is a stronger way of making the wheel. And then they do a lot of uh, CNC cutting, and that just looks freaking. Let me see your pockets, man. Show me your pockets. Heavy, deep pockets, huh? Yeah, it's all gone. Fucking guy. <laughs> Um, these are actually lighter too. So yeah, they're forged are stronger of course, but they're lighter. Stop lying, fool. I don't I don't make the wheels, just saying. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's really clean too. You did the flush. Uh KC KC light, right? KC lights, KC We don't sell KC, but they are very high quality when it comes to lights. And that looks really clean in there. I like how you did that flush. It looks really good. Thank um, you, thank you. What else do you want to cover on this? Um, what else? <laughs> So all this stuff, I mean, get back to the KC lights since we're talking about it. All the KC lights, we had all the bezels uh, powder coated, so everything's matte to match. The inside's actually chromed here. You can't really see it crazy, but Damn, all little details. Fancy, fancy, fancy ass, ass dude, details. man. I see it. Chrome details. and purple, I see it. Details. Super fancy. Uh, that, that is very detailed. Um, all the cage, the doors, and the bumper, that's all made by Desert Works, our buddy over in Montclair. They do great work. Um, check, check them out. Shout out to Pro R for making a good machine. And then Andrew here, pimpifying it. Is that a word? Hey, we'll make it a word. Pimpifying Yeah. Hashtag. Pimpifying we'll make it a hashtag. Ride. Hey, when we got here, hashtag. We, huh? when we, we got here, there was a guy outside. He looked like uh, the owner of Pimp My Ride. Oh, really? West Coast Customs. I mean, maybe he was. He probably was. Never know. You got a lot of fancy guys here. I never know. <laughs> fancy guys. <laughs> uh, oh, anyways, badass dude. You got a nice shop. Congratulations on your new shop. You're Thank doing you. very well, very successful. Thank you. Uh, goals for me. I always love seeing people do good. And that Abraham goals right here. He's got a new printer that he just bought. He's trying to see. He's trying to look at Lou over here. 
Him and his wife are doing like pictures and stuff. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Right on. All right, let's go outside. By the way, we're uh, filming with these new microphones. Hopefully, the quality of the audio is good. It is more like individual. So, um, if I, if you're not, if Abraham's not wearing one or Andrew wasn't wearing one, I don't know if you can hear him as well. But we're just testing it. And let me know if you, what you guys think about the audio on this video. Um, these things weren't freaking cheap. They're kind of expensive, but hopefully it's worth it. So we'll see. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Proline Raps for having us. Shout out to Abraham for hanging out with us today. Uh, and the wife for hanging out and holding down the booth. Uh, we're just hanging out, giving toys back to kids that uh, might not have some. So, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.